everyone, Wanabot here, and welcome to Ratopia. A, it's a sandbox survival settlement builder. Uh, the play is a lot like, oh, what is our, oh, oh, we can make our own leader, okay. Uh, it plays a lot like Oxygen Not Included, crossed with, um, Terraria? Maybe not Terraria. It, it's Oxygen Not Included, but you actually have a character, a leader that you are controlling, and are interacting with the world and giving orders and stuff. It's really cool. Uh, let me make a character quick. All right, so now that we've made our character, I don't know, I just went with kind of a more of a peasant princess looking looking character. As far as I can tell, you're uh, very much locked to a, pres uh, a princess as opposed to a, a prince or a king or anything like that. Hopefully they add some other options, but you know what, whatever, I don't mind. I, I can... I can very much roleplay as a princess rat for a day for a playthrough. Anyway, so uh, this is the successor to Ratropolis, a base defense deck builder that I really adore and is completely different in so many different, uh, like, it, they're completely different games. There's almost no connection between them. And frankly, I think that's actually really cool. Uh, let's see, so what am I doing? So, the entire point of this game is that I am uh, digging into the earth, building up, and creating kind of my own... Uh, ooh, there's a grave right there. That's actually really bad for me. Well, at least we have tons of food. Uh, but effectively building a thriving rat civilization here, uh, while dealing with, like, enemy invasions and some other stuff. Kind of a la... Let's just grab those. Oh, put in. I dropped the brains as opposed to putting it into it. Okay, there we go. So what I need to do is I need to build base. Not storage. Is it a royal thing? Here it is. City entrance. So I'm going to need three wood and three rock to make a city entrance. This is how we get new... Uh, well, I was going to say employees, but it's effectively true. Oh, you can only carry one type of item at a time. Huh. Interesting. Uh, let's see. Oh, switch. I just want to pick these up. I'm just going to store a couple of things for a moment. Every time we store a new research, uh, resource, it gets added to our... Uh, there we go. It gets added... Or, it gives me a research point. I guess is what I would say. Oh, no, we don't want to dig too far down. I'm going to need some wood. We're going to make some ladders, otherwise I'm going to get trapped in the underground and have to do some weird things that I don't want to deal with. Uh, we're going to leave the upper layer pretty much untouched, because I don't know if these resources come back, and we are most assuredly going to... Oops, switch. Yeah, we don't want to remove the tree. That would be devastating. Uh, but, 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 but. but yeah, leave the upper layer untouched, because... Resources can be destroyed permanently, and I don't know how to replant them particularly easily. Uh, let's see, right, switch, grab, logs. So I think we're actually, oop, hop over here, and we are going to build base ladder. And we want to keep these generally about three, oh, interesting, ladders require Grass. I don't know if they used to. Well, it works for me. And then I can finish this off. Weirdly enough, it costs me money. I build. Wait, no, it doesn't cost me money if I'm building something. Okay, so that's good. Fortunately, I can only carry three three things at a time. Uh, there are other leader types that can actually carry more. But, whatever. I'll make it work. Okay. Let's just finish the ladder off. And then just dig down. I'll probably build another one of these storage things, uh, right at the entrance. Okay. Oh, can I not? I have no idea. That's okay, I can get grass from these... from these tiles freely. Build... nope. Okay, switch put in. And let's just finish these off. Yeah, so ladders are very easy to build then. Makes my life easy. Uh, let's see. So let's do order build base. 
What do I need for another storage? Okay, so it does not look like I can build those quickly. We're gonna need planks and some kind of cut stone. Uh, we can make beds, dirt blocks, and some other stuff, but that's, yeah, a little bit outside of my purview. We could make an upper layer if we wanted to, just with dirt blocks. Uh, or we could go over here. We've got this giant tree bordering on one side, which kind of makes my life a little easier because uh, we don't have to worry about invaders ever, ever coming from this direction. I don't want to dig into it too much because I'm pretty sure you can get to the other side and all of a sudden you have to defend on two different fronts. But build royal city entrance. A lot of resources and storage. I was just hoping it would let me put down the blueprint anyway. That's okay, we can go get the stone. That's not really a problem. I played the demo for this a couple months ago and really, really liked it. And so I've been uh, anticipating its release for uh, way more than I would have expected. And maybe that's not, not really the phrase I'm trying to go for. It's... I don't get excited for games easily just because there's so many games coming out all of the time. Uh, and it is... Oh, no, I have to put this into storage. Stupidly, I have to put it into storage, then I have to bring the resources over uh, to actually build the dang thing. Yeah, we're just gonna put it over here. I could... I could actually just dig into the ground a little bit. Because I think what we're gonna want to do is actually put a layer above the tree. At some point. So yeah, let's let's just go on a bit of a digging spree. My character actually gains skill points, or they gain EXP the more they do stuff. So me taking my time here isn't so bad. Unless we get invaded, at which point then we're in trouble. Uh luckily the princess is actually like a not terrible or the monarch. The monarch is not a terrible fighter, so we're not like super hosed. For at least the first couple of fights, but then it's going to get harder and harder. Okay. So let's switch to this. Three logs. Let's go get our rocks. This is actually probably one of the more fortuitous starts I've ever had in this game. Uh, last couple of times I've played this, these wheat spots that you see all over the place, they were like non-existent. We had maybe one. And, uh, starvation was very common. Okay, so let's check migrants so we can add some more people. Uh, so we can get a lost adventurer who is... He has okay stats, but he does come with a bunch of dirt. They've got very good EXP gain and are generally happy. Or we could get two. But slob, militant, hardy, royalist. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with Tommy. They just seem fantastic. We'll be kind of slow about who we let in, because uh, I'm going to have to feed them, and we don't have that much money, so I want to be kind of particular on these things. So we also want to put, up, put down some orders. Namely, let's make a whole second layer here. I'm probably going to put a second set of ladders on the other side, right over here. Okay, not enough resources in the storage. So we actually have to make sure we have enough. I kind of wish it didn't limit me on that. Because who cares? Who cares if we don't have the resources? Just fill it in when you get the chance. I don't know. Okay. Grab the grain. Put it in. I'm going to guarantee we have enough food. That's kind of... Apart from giving giving orders, that's going to be my my primary modus operandi for a while because uh, my people starving gets really dire really fast we'll have to dedicate somebody to hauling at some point and a couple other jobs okay yeah might as well put these in the problem is every single task that happens in this game uh, costs money you have to pay your people to do work and we currently don't have a means of making more money. Uh, so that that's actually going to become a bit of an issue really quickly. Nope. I might as well wait until that's full. 
Yeah, just bring things over. I don't actually know which is, which is worth more or less. Uh, hauling jobs or mining jobs or whatever, but I don't think nickel and diming my units at the moment is really worth it. Wait, we gained money there? Huh. Maybe it's like a taxes thing or who knows what. We'll have to see how it goes. I mean, chances are I'm going to pay them for activities, then tax them for the money back. And then maybe eventually we figure out some more uh, actually lucrative things. Like, trading? Do we even trade with? I have no idea. To go back to what I was saying about being excited for this game, like, I don't get excited for games often just because in the same day that this came out, like, three other games that I'm interested in came out. And uh, let's see, check migrants. What do we have? Mm, extravagant? No. Production of efficiency and extra happiness when member of the largest group in the social class. Uh, that's not bad. Or we've got these two that are not very good. So yeah, let's grab this guy. I need more people to do tasks, but I'm going to be slow for now. Especially because we don't really have the facilities to support a large population at the moment anyway. Uh, but there's just something really charming about settlement management and kind of this side-scrolling uh, sandbox survival. Uh, specifically in the same way, uh, way that like Terraria, but yeah, more oxygen not included, have it. It's like, I don't know, it feels like I have so much more maybe immediate control over what's going on and like my units and uh, my base. I feel... I mean, immersed, I guess. It, it really is an immersion thing. And... Actually, let's drop this. It's got this grass, because I think every harvest gets me two. So I can actually leave some of this on the ground. Uh, let's see, what else do I do? I mean, I guess I could start digging down as well. And at some point, we're gonna probably order a bunch of ladders. Oh, they'll do it for me. Sick. Yeah, order a bunch of ladders so we can have access to, like, a big old tier. Uh, or big old, like, multiple tiers of this area. We also have access to some water here, which is actually super nice. Water is usually kind of hard to come by, and admittedly... I don't think it refills, so we've got to be kind of careful about that until we can find a better source. I don't actually... Uh, let's see. Order. Cancel. Yeah, we don't want to mine either of those. Because I want access to this to be relatively unimpeded until we run out of water. We just don't want to flood the base. And who knows, maybe it comes back. I have no idea. Okay, so do we have anybody else that's actually good? So they come with water. Uh, and they sleep on the floor. Let's see, dies when happiness blows plus 20. Let's not do that. Sure, let's get Bucky. They come with water. Oh, good. Water is just a physical resource <laughs> uh, that just sits there. I was legitimately a little concerned for a hot second there. If it just immediately floods part of my base with a bunch of water, that would have been bad. Okay. I do find it amusing that the icon for food is meat. I mean, maybe this game will actually have meat at some point, but I don't know. I don't know about you. I usually don't ascribe, uh, carn uh, ascribe. I usually don't think of mice as carnivores. So let's actually get some stuff rolling. So we have a gathering camp. Place to forge for materials. Anything can be placed. So it needs planks, so we can't do anything on that. So we need, we need the sawmill ASAP.
Okay, what else can we build? Production-wise, we do have the laboratory. But that's not actually what we need. What we need is kind of the research desk. There's also the royal bed, but that's where I heal. Yeah, we're gonna need planks. So what else do we have? Service, toilets. Yeah, we could actually use that. Where do we put it though? Put it right here. Yeah. They're all gonna want it anyway. Yes, I'll let them work on those. I think I can to so oh right. Normally characters will just do generalist projects like um, gathering, mining, uh, transporting resources and whatnot. But I can assign them at workstations so that becomes their permanent job. Okay. So for now, we're just kind of doing whatever. Underground wheat as well. Dang. Yeah, so we might actually want to get one of those gathering desks down. Uh, oh, right, but we can't yet. We need planks. So let's check details. We need Aradiza to work this. So extra production, uh, production efficiency or more EXP gain. It's honestly maybe tempting. Uh, no, I have no idea. Let's just throw Bucky at it. Bucky, you get to be our, our lumberjack. Okay, so what can we do? With the lumber, lumber to sticks, or er, logs to, to lumber, logs to sticks. Oh, it's a different type of wood. Yeah, we don't have that. Okay, so yeah, let's just leave it. What else do we have? Not much. So I think I'm just gonna add that next set of ladders. Let's see, and we want it to go three. The other thing we should probably do is, before we go too far, actually replace these floors. I think it's too late for these. Maybe it's not. Oh, and we're running out of dirt. Oh, it's okay. We'll have more. I might as well start transporting some of it. Okay, fine. I'll do the mining, they can do the transportation. I think they genuinely can actually be better at transportation than I am anyway. Okay. We have a bunch of grass, right? Yeah. Oh. Never mind. Okay, ladder blueprint, and we might as well just build it for now. I don't know how many more rats I want. So we could get a bunch of fish. So it doesn't like it when I they pay attacks. Ooh, doesn't starve. Let's go with the fallen noble. The extra fish might not be a bad idea. Either. Let's see. Food's looking good. Okay. Grab some grass. I'm just gonna do whatever. Wow. Never mind then. Hey, do we have a bunch of grass? We do. I might as well use this opportunity to build up some of these things. 
I'm, I'm a little bit less functional than my units just because they don't have to swap UI ever. There we go. Guess I'll mine this out. So I think we want this to just stay ladders. Uh, switch. Order. Cancel order. Ah, canceling orders pauses the clock. That's good. Yeah, so what we really want to do is put these here. The grass, though. So why don't we actually move it down one more? Have this area be slightly taller. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to be using that grass for, but I might as well keep it rather than deleting it. Or actually, I don't know. I might just cancel this. I might just ignore this area for a while, even though it's an open space for me to work in. No, maybe we just get rid of it. I've got plenty of grass spots in the base already. Okay. I guess I'll just mine these out for the time being. Make it easier for easier for my rats to do their thing. Okay, so morale is currently eh. They need joy and they need to rest. Yeah, so we gotta get some beds down. We currently don't have any means of having them sleep. I do kind of hate the fact that they have to traverse such a distance if they want to go, um... Let's see. Just gonna let them do that. There we go. Uh-oh. Don't know what happens when I do that. Alright. Let's ignore it for the time being. Do we wanna... Oh. I guess I'll just mine this out. So interestingly enough... There we go. I'll just finish this off. So we can replace the floors. It disables the building temporarily, but it can go back to being worked on. Good. Okay, so quick thing, Royal. I'm gonna need a research desk. Oh, we've got plenty. Perfect. I'm just going to put it over here, uh, because we currently can't build any new structure types or learn about anything uh, without it. And as soon as we get this, we can uh, add joy. I'll probably just have uh, a joy station right in this, like, smack dab in the center here. Eventually, what I'd also like to get is a small... Um, I'm gonna have the research desk right next to the, the shitter. That's uh that's not gonna impact anything at all. I'll move things around later so it actually looks nice. I'm just I don't exactly have a whole lot of space to work with. Okay, check details, research. Uh so what do we need? Ideally a mini storage. Now is that an overtime thing? Or do I need a researcher? Oh, no. This is going over time. Sick. Yeah, so I think I'm just going to set a couple of those. I also think, yeah, let's just get rid of this underground grass. If it was something more valuable than grass, I'd go for it, but... Let's see. Other thing we should probably do is tell them to mine. Oh, nope. We're still on cancel order. There we go. There. And I should probably stop this at some point, just because Joy is starting to dip hard and some other things. So what else do we have? Service. Toilet? Nope. Can't do that. Production. We do have a laboratory, but that gets us intelligence. A bench. I don't know if that helps yet. 
And we could also get a gathering camp. It's a 3 by 2 which is slightly annoying. Because I'd almost prefer to have it on the surface. Since that's where it's going to be going. I guess we could specifically get rid of this grass here and kind of tuck it inside. I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. Because, yeah, we still have a couple of grass spots in the area. Oh, grass seed. Oh, sick. So we can actually move that around. So I might want to do that with those wheat spots. Okay, so we've got a mini storage, lift station, which might actually be a really good idea later. I don't think we got the resources for it. So what we need is a circus stand, I think. Before my people get too sad. Weaving mills, pharmacies, uh, what about this? Hunter's hut, water tank. I think we wait for now. Okay, let's mine this out. And actually just build base ladder. Because we might as well have that go up at least to that floor. Make it easy and we can get some more production buildings kind of stuck in and around it. Okay, next order of business. Base mini storage, doesn't cost much. I'm thinking we put one right here. Uh, hopefully so that our, uh, so that Bucky can just put the planks in there and we don't have to worry about it. The other thing we need to look into is housing. Oh. I'm actually gonna demolish that. Let's do cancel order again. Wow, they, uh, they got a lot done. Oh, I see. That only, that only works for those. Okay. Beds are only too tall. So we should actually feed into that, more or less sandwich a bunch of production structures in between a bunch of beds. And I'll go back to working on clearing out this uh, gathering section. We currently don't need it, but I might as well preemptively start working on it. We might also want to just get another character really quickly here. Because my rats are desperately in need of joy. Build... See, service. Circus stand. How big is it? Donking huge. Uh, you know what? Why don't we why don't we set up the laboratory as well? Just so something is there. Okay, and then service, circus stand. This is going to take me a little bit. Uh, we need to get a jester. Okay, so we've got Wendy, who is an anarchist, a progressive, who is fast. Let's grab Florence. Interestingly enough, despite the fact that they are juggling balls, I don't think I'm actually going to use them as my jester. Okay. Well, considering I've got a ton of dirt here. That makes that easy. Okay, same thing with this grass. Rather than carrying all of this, like, halfway across the facility there and back again. I can just pick things up directly and move it. There we go. Okay. 
Okay, rocks and done. Uh-oh. We might actually have an invasion to worry about. Well, I'm hoping we can at least work on happiness first. Okay, so first and foremost, we need somebody that provides joy. Bucky's already assigned. We need somebody that has probably good... I could use Sean. And none of them really get any major ones. So we'll have Sean be our, our clown. Oh, you poor fools. That's a problem. They can't figure out how to path because they got themselves stuck. Come on. Oh. Am I going to get myself stuck? Oh, you know what? Wait, hold up. This underground grass grows really fast. There we go. Okay, whoops. So I'm just going to remove this grass because we get grass seed for it. So I'll just free my units one by one. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I see a lot of swamp muck here. Grab this, move over. Dump it in. I don't know. I'll just let them do whatever. Wait, what are they doing? Oh, I see. They're working on that. Yeah, let's just keep clearing things out. We'll have tons of grass by the time I'm done. Uh, and I can make it like a whole harvesting area at some point. It's a build. Is it base? Yeah, there we go. I only need four beds at the moment. I don't think we need research that badly either. We are currently dealing with a lot of other things. So what do we want? Storage, mini storage. Storage is expensive. Porter station. Might actually be a good idea. Bunk bed. Might also be a really good idea. Let's uh start working on that, actually. Oh, you... Absolute. Sad fools. Nope. We have an invasion. Okay. There we go. Someone got hurt. I must do something. I think it's me. I think I am the one who is hurt. Was that it? I think I'm good. All right. Oh, did the wheat spread? It did. It did. Crops crops spread in this game. Oh, dang. That's that's certifiably big. Okay, it looks like they can kind of traverse this. But let's uh fill this out a little bit more and then build a bunch of dirt blocks. Nope. Okay, cancel these. I guess, I think I can actually just build here, right? There we go. Yeah, so now they'll, they will mine and then build. Should have started with it, that. But yeah, so this way we will effectively sandwich my, my living quarters between um, 
Is Sean just not doing anything? I have no idea. Let me check. Statistics. Joy is the issue. Maybe I have to figure out and, like, actually investigate one of these. Can I manage... Leader, filter, res research. Oh, can I just do this from wherever? Easier to climb up and down. Oh, no, we're still work working on the bunk beds. I think maybe just joy will not improve until we actually have housing. Well, all things considered, maybe let's just get another Radisson. Somebody decent. So, optimistic? Yeah. And they also come with a bunch of fish, which will solve our food problems. Not that we really have dire food problems at the moment. Finances are going to be my big one, I think, next. Okay, build production. Nope, not production. Is it raw materials? There we go, gathering camp. Not enough re- what? We are apparently low on grass. And this is why we need the gathering camp. I think I can tell my units to go cut things. There we go. I guess we can have plenty of food. Is this done already? Oh yeah. I must have just cut it as I went by earlier. So we do have this grave here. I gotta check. I don't think I can clear it out. The enemies that spawn from it are actually kind of brutal. Den of Plagues. So it doesn't actually look like the Den of Plagues does anything. To me as I go by. I will want to get rid of it because I think it's where enemies spawn from. But that's not a huge priority at the moment. Especially because I am weak. I need to level up at least a couple of times before we get to that get to that point. Right. I don't even know if I take falling damage. Let's see. How are we looking? Right. Betting. Okay, so this, as long as it's not a floor, they can have a bed. Manage research. Can I just research more beds? Looks like I can. So what do we have? Hunter's hut, logging camp, silviculture, small garden, sap camp. Rabbit. So I think these are mostly acquiring resources. I think we want to look into other stuff. Specifically masonry. Ah, research can only be started at the research desk. I was hoping I could do it remotely. Yeah, let's start doing masonry, because we need that if I want to get bigger storage. How does the mini storage work? Ah, it stores 20 resources. I was wondering about that. Still, that is helpful. I was... oh, no. My poor boys. How did you even get over there? I have n no. Oh, no, that's repair. Well, I'll see if I can rescue him. There we go. Masonry is complete. At least research is nice and quick. We are going to have to, uh. There we go. We're going to have to get some more research at some point, but right now I'm more focused on just getting everything to work. I am but a simple fool. Demolish it all again. We are going to leave that one singular bed there for the time being. Cancel. Cancel those. Go back to mining. I should have checked to see if bunk beds were a thing. They apparently are, sort of. I 
Okay, not enough resources and storage. We've got plenty of dirt. We just need to store it. I guess I'm going to start working on that. <laughs> I think you only need enough to put down one, maybe. Maybe. No. Gotta put down a lot more. What we might even want to do is have, like, a mini storage on each floor. Because they're kind of inexpensive. I can just put it right next to the ladder. And then we can look into porters at a later date. Okay. Hopefully that'll at least give us some level of something. Uh, right. That was the other thing I was going to look into, which I'm pretty sure I can no longer... I, I can't build again. Production, because... No, it's not that. It's raw materials. I'm a goofus. No, we actually do have enough. Because I think I should get at least one more rat and have them, uh... I should get at least one more rat and specifically have them, uh, work on just gathering food and grass and other such things just so we don't have to worry about starvation or running out of grass or whatever. Then we can maybe move them to porting once we have more stuff. Then again, maybe overkill. Somebody put it, already put the remaining planks in. Sick. Uh, yeah, did we get another? Sure. It says my rats need food, but I think so much of that just boils down to mismanagement and them getting easily distracted. Okay, is it base bunk beds? Cause that'll that'll very quickly get us enough enough people. Why don't we go look into commerce? Cause I think we need to we need to get taxes going. Otherwise we are hosed. So Codestone. We also have, like, the Shrine of Rat. By Power of Rat, skills can be used. Royal Forge. Ah, uh, changes my equipment. Crematory, Cemetery, Bell Tower. Maintenance Office. Oh, fixed damage structures and a mailbox. I give orders from a distance. I think the Code Stone is all we need. At least for now. Because, yeah, if I, can, if I can get even just really basic taxation going, we won't have to worry about finances. Uh, so let's take a look. Happier when no Radisson has the same job. Eh. They're a slob. And an elitist. Eh. Oh, wait, no. Elitist is great. I just have to give them a job nobody else will do. And then they'll be happy. So, I think we have our gatherer. I'll just make sure to always give them something weird. Okay, so we want them to grab these two, I think. Okay, so what else do we do? Uh, hopefully we have enough dirt stocks. We have woefully insufficient dirt stocks. It's fine. I'll just run around mining. Uh, so much of this will be solved as my rats get stronger, as they literally can actually, like, carry more resources. I 
And that'll be a huge boon. Oh, we do have another functional bed. I think I'm going to mine out everything down here first. Just so my dudes don't get stuck again. There we go. So I've got seven rats. So we're going to need at least three bunk beds. Uh, so Bucky sleeps on the floor. They cooperate. Oh, I see. And we might also want to look into housing these closer to their jobs. At some point. But that can be later. Cancelled these. I must not have. Okay, tell me we've stored a little bit more dirt. There we go. So we'll need a researcher and a couple other things later, too. Cancel those. Because that was going to be another build order. is a little awkward. I almost kind of wish it instead of a wheel it was a list or something. Okay. But yeah, most structures seem to be about three high. We should work with that accordingly. I'm curious how this plays with keyboard and mouse. I'm playing with the controller. Uh, I can see some parts being easier and some parts being way more annoying. Well, shall we also build another... Uh, hygiene. Be under service. Oh, we don't have enough dirt. Alright, I guess we'll just kill time. Oh no, I was gonna get the code stone. That's the big one. Hmm. The code stone is... Uh, big. I guess I'll just start transporting some of this dirt. And a structure needs a foundation. I'll figure it out later. Whatever whatever structure it is probably isn't ter terribly important at the moment. And yeah, I could I could get some more. Hopefully we do get some level of tower building later on in this game. I know that's maybe wishful thinking, but from like a base defense standpoint, it'd be kind of fun. I, I miss some of the, the cheesy card magic that was present in... Uh, yeah, I can hold three fish at a, three fish at a time. The cheesy card magic that was present in Ratropolis 1. Or in Ratropolis, in their first game. I will say though, I'm actually kind of glad that they went, they went this direction. I could see another Ratropolis game being good. And in fact, I would actually argue that like a 3D one would be incredible. Just on a 3D plane with a little bit more like... Uh, how would I describe it? I don't want to say depth of play, but uh, I played a game recently called Thronefall that's absolutely fantastic. Oh, I've leveled up my strength, which might mean... I can actually hold four now. Uh, so I can hold four dirt or... Uh, or really anything that I want to carry a stack of. Let's see, I should probably also chop down some more trees because we were running out of lumber. Do we want another person? We're doing great on food. Uh, let's see, fast, but they're an anarchist. Slob, optimist. Pessimist could be a bit of an issue, but everything else about the, this group is great. Let's go with the robbed peddlers. We'll just have to look into uh, services that make my people happier. Okay, you know how I said... Uh, 
it's probably not important. Whatever thing is lacking a foundation. Somehow I put a ladder underneath my housing. Don't know how that happened. Okay. Just demolish those. Poor Florence. Hopefully Florence gets to get a full night's sleep before somebody comes along to deconstruct her bed. Probably not. Who knows? Okay. But yeah, let's let's just have the big old bunk room. And fortunately, I'm discovering that my uh, my floors are one tile too wide. So there's going to be an awkward, like, nothing spot in a lot of these. I don't know how much that actually matters. Okay, so let's... We don't have many resources left. Oh, right, that's what I was going to do. Really quick. Um... Oh, my movement speed went up. That's actually kind of nice. These aren't going to be even. But I think what I want to do... Build dirt block. Hopefully that's not going to block the tree. What I'm hoping this will do is uh, give me enough space that I can put down some of the like weirder structures that matter but don't matter that much right now. I guess let's actually just grab a whole stack of dirt and bring it up here. Okay, there we go. I can build I can build a couple of these. Okay, let's let's get that code stone down because we need to we need to think about taxes. There we go. I really love the fact that our character can level up, by the way. Like I know that's kind of a oh wow, they beat me to the punch. Alright, whatever, I'll just bring some more. Uh but the fact that my carrying capacity can go up. I think my combat stats can go up. Okay. Legislate. Tax laws. Civil tax. Cycle. Day one. Standard all. Class all. Tax amount. Set value one. Percent of wealth. Percent of income. Probably wealth. One percent. Activated. Uh, let's see, and I'm not going to name any of these. Apply the new policy. Hopefully a 1% wealth tax isn't too heinous. It might become problematic. We'll see. I'll have to look into that. I, that's the kind of thing that maybe I, I wish I had the tutorial on for. Uh, if only figure out. Wait, let's go back here. I wonder if that's not actually repeating. What is the cycle? Day. Day one? Oh, every day, 1% of their wealth. Okay, well. Wealth owned over 100. Okay, type ah. Yeah, I think I'm just going to do a civil tax. Hopefully, cycle day one. Yeah, every day. Uh, anybody over 100 gold gets taxed. And I could probably put it up to maybe 200. We'll see. Oh. Tax laws. Commercial laws. Value of given goods. Dirt resource. Oh, that's interesting. Welfare law. 
Improve welfare and then labor law. Oh. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm... I think I'm going to leave that as fine. Unfortunately, some of this is probably going to get a little lost in the... Lost in translation. Mostly due to... Uh, let's see. Mostly due to the fact that the developers are Korean. And so... Uh, hopefully the translation includes the UI. To make it actually make sense. Is my hope. We'll see. And it looks like we have plenty of space for this tree. I maybe could have made that one one tier lower, but this gives us some room to breathe here. And I should probably get the ladders going up on this side as well. There we go. Yeah, we're just going to have like a vertical tower. Uh, I'll probably expand laterally here at some point later. When it's a little bit more relevant. Uh, I don't think we need more beds right now. So let's let's see who does not have a bed. So they sleep on the floor. Okay. I don't think we have a whole lot of floors, to be honest. And we've got space for some more ratisons if we want it. Uh, let's see, what else do we have going on? I guess we should probably... Start working on the next tier down. Oh, no. We're destroying these. Okay, cancel that. What else do we do? Because it says a Radisson needs food. But I don't think any of my Radisons are specifically stuck. They need jo joy. You know what? We've got some research. What do we have on service? Is it service? That's military. Arena circus stand. Oh, okay. So what do we want? Perform great talent, power of culture. Paintings. Arena. Let's go for a music stage. And then maybe also look into the massage bed. Yeah, I think I'll put masonry down on this lower floor. Okay, do mining. Toss those. And if we can get the masonry, I should also be able to... Oh, no, that's not what I want. There we go. If we can get the masonry, we can also get, like, the full storage. There we go. Oh, I have to actually get rid of this. Uh... We can get the, the unlimited storage so it doesn't have to be in the way anymore. Or, sorry, uh, we can get the full, full storage so we don't have to have like a bunch of the small ones with limited space. Uh, and that way my people don't have to go way out of their way. We'll just put one per every other floor or something to that extent. Uh, so it's very easy to just drop off resources. You know, I kind of wish I didn't have to worry about my units pooping at all. It makes sense in oxygen not included. Here it's just voyeuristic. Question. Can we tell them to also chop down trees? No. Huh. I guess that really is where the forester is supposed to work. Oh, it's okay. I'll just come by and chop this every once in a while. So is there anything else for me to really do at this point? We're going to stick it out for a little bit longer. I want to see what happens when I level up. I think I've had it happen before, but I've forgotten what's involved. So, build base. Yes, yeah, storage requires two rock. I could build a midi storage, but I think I'm going to wait. 
masonry. Yeah, I'll just put it here. And we got a bunch of rocks, so yeah, I'll just put it in. And I think my my units are actually getting considerably faster and can carry more, so that's going to make my life much easier. Part of the reason why I don't want too many units when I likely won't need them. Let's see, so who do we have that has a high work efficiency here? These ones over here. Uh, do we want to do Tommy? Sure. And then I will build a couple more dirt blocks here. Finish off the floor. I guess I'll start bringing resources back up. As soon as we get those stone blocks actually dealt with, though. And I wonder if... I wonder if the, uh... No, storage probably doesn't have... Uh... Storage probably doesn't transfer... What's inside of it. That'd be nice, though. But, yeah, I think we're gonna need a porter bench. Eerie presence surrounds the city. Rosie, you're in a bad spot. Oh, I see. We're just gonna have... This grave's gonna pop in, in a couple minutes. As soon as we hit that night wave. At some point, I'm going to have to look into uh, actually having some of my units ready for combat. Can I take a look? Statistics. Wealth. Okay, tax. So maybe? Maybe the taxes work? We might want to bump that up a little bit more. I'll have to see, because I think just a really basic wealth tax is probably the way to do it. I do kind of hope this game... Oh, boy. Uh, I hope this game eventually differentiates. Oh, she does carry it back. Well, that's nice. Oh, also... Uh, water areas will actually refill due to rain. So that's also useful to keep in mind. There's so many different things to learn and know about this game. But yeah, I'm noticing that there's like different social classes here and I'm curious to see if that's going to be an issue. Here's a question. If I hit the grave, do they just come for me? Oh, they do. Sick. Yeah, it's the only invasion point we have, so if I can just intentionally get rid of it, uh, it makes my life much easier. So we should go take a look at royal stuff. Oh, no, we do have the royal bed already. Prison. Criminals. For the outer world, mailbox, shrine of rats. And there's the royal forge, but it's kind of expensive. What else do we have? Oh, no, those are just research points. 131 different resources. Wooden box. Wooden throne, small sculpture. I'm gonna grab those. I'm wondering if uh, sculptures actually make my people happier. Yes. Good. I just put a storage here? Absolutely. Yeah, because a nice big storage right there should uh, solve a lot of my resource transportation issues. We might also want to look into getting the uh, wooden ladder instead to speed things along. 
Oh, the water, the water does disappear though. Well, currently our food supplies are handled largely just due to the wealth of wheat in my area. I'm curious if seasonal uh, food supplies are gonna be an issue. Like if winter is gonna roll in and we're gonna get no food. How much do I have to do to level up one more time? No idea. I don't want this video to go on for like forever. Okay. I was hoping they'd dump off one more. But yeah, this, w this way they can just transfer all of the resources on these floors straight into here. And it'll make my life easier. And I'll just work on this. Save myself a little bit of money. It does look like we are still losing cash kind of fast. Okay. Oh, so storage only holds 40. That's slightly less good than I was hoping it would be, but whatever. How are we doing on resources, by the way? I know we actually don't have a whole lot of lumber either. Is this thing full? Oh no, it stores eight different types of resources. Oh. Okay, so that is actually better. Okay, so I want to attack one last thing. So yeah, we can fit one more bunk bed in here. But we also can have a sculpture. Wait, it's three by... That's not small. It's not small. Okay. Well, all things considered... Oh, right. I was going to... I was going to see about music, maybe. Is it service? Music stage. Four by three and it requires weaving. Okay. So I gotta keep that in mind. Let's see, what else do we even have to do at the moment? Not too much. Uh, oh, we might also want to get more bathrooms. Let's see, do we get another one over... over here? No. I think just one kind of on either side for now is okay. What else do we do? Right, that's what I was going to do. I'm gonna hit the grave a bunch. Wait, no. My wheat. Okay. Here's some just basic Zambos. They're tough. Did that not give me the EXP required? Ouch. Oh, nope. Pick up the grain seeds. Can I plant these somewhere? So I'm actually going to have to look into farming at this point. I mean, I think we're fine food-wise, even without. Yeah, we're, we're totally fine. I was really hoping I could just replant it in the soil. But alas, no dice and all that stuff. I don't know. I think we're going to have to go, go without leveling up. I'm so close, too. But I'm also, like, super wounded. Uh, let's see. What else do we have? my equipment. Ooh. 
and then there's more. So, okay, I think I'm gonna stop us here. I, ugh, gosh, maybe? I don't know. Maybe I'd just go mining for a bit. Let's just, uh, clear this out. Maybe I just need a new, like, resource to drop off. I'm just gonna mine downwards, clear out a floor, get to whatever this, like, weird sandstone and goop stuff is. And, ooh, some kind of slate as well. Yeah, Radisson's in need of joy. We're kind of okay there, at least for a bit. So what was I, what was I even going to talk about? It is literally just slime. Sick. Okay. Can't do anything about that for the time being, unfortunately. I'll just have to wait for them to uh, actually build a ladder for me. Which won't take too long. Ooh, it looks like there's frog things and some other stuff. It also looks like there's a chamber to the bottom left with that's like maybe a little bit more intentional. I, I could be wrong. Uh, but things to say is that uh, Ratopia is available uh, now on Steam in early access. So it's still got a ways to go before it's actually... Uh, what I would consider or call good. Yeah, it looks like there's some kind of specific resource down in here. Alright, I'll go take a look at it while I'm trying to level up. Wait, a lost rat is in. Ew. What? How? Why? I still have 9 out of 10. Uh, okay. I'm going to chalk that up to probably a bug. That's the only explanation I can think of. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to build ladders on each side. Okay, I want to see what's in this, this weird nougat thing while I try and level up. And I was going to try and store the slime. The other thing we should do here, research, is wooden ladder. I don't think we have any others. Uh, so because it is in early access, there is still a decent degree of weird bugginess to be kind of expected here. Uh, it's... I mean, pretty solid in my opinion from all that I've seen. The overall, like, gameplay and mechanics feel really well put together and well thought out. I think it just needs more time in the oven to, like, really uh, become all that, that it can and will be. And for me, I, I'm super excited to see where this goes. Because once again, I, my issue that I was having with um, Oxygen Not Included was that I felt kind of disconnected from the whole game and process. It just wasn't a particularly... Wait, there's a... That looks dangerous. I don't know about you, but the, like, happy flowers in this little area feels like it's probably a risk. Uh, so we might want to look into doors at some point. Wooden ladder. Oh, it requires sticks. Unfortunately, I think I'm just going to have to sit here because I can do nothing else. I guess I can kind of mine my way back up. Let's see, at least until other things happen. Wait, I think I can jump this. Nope. Or they're going to fix it. I don't know if I need to worry about that. Lost Radisons 1. Yeah, I, I think it thinks they're dying of hunger or lack of joy. But that keeps not happening. Uh, let's see. I don't know. We also seem to be gaining plenty of research points once again. Which is very good. Uh, t -t 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 production. We were going to get a weaving mill. Also needs sticks. Well, we don't need lumber anymore or something, maybe. Okay. 
Okay. Hopefully this will go a little faster for Bucky. I wonder if I can actually specifically tell it store settings. Yeah, we shouldn't be storing like seeds or a lot of this stuff. For the most part, this is going to be wooden planks. And I really want it to only be wood and planks. Uh, let's see. And it can just release whatever. What are we doing? We do have 30 planks in it, so yeah, that should be a nice, reasonable amount. Let's get a little bit more wood. I'm so close to leveling up. I don't want this video to be like two hours long as I just like slowly drag my my uh, just slow butt over the finish line. I do wish it was a little clearer about how to get EXP. Yeah, we might have to look into a more aggressive wealth tax. Well, at least we've got uh, wooden sticks now. It's very much, if you give a mouse a cookie, I still need more. Because, yeah, we... Oh, you know what? Do we want to demolish this I'm going to demolish this. I think we're going to put the theater right next to the sleeping situation. I don't actually know if it's going to affect anything. It might. Let's stay away from that. I should probably also pause at some point and take a look at all of my dudes. What if there's a way where I could check them? Yeah, not easily. There's no, like, list of all of my, my rats. Like, filter, but no, that's not it. What I'd like is a pause and inspection mode where I can just be like, how are these characters doing? Well, like, how's Tommy doing? He's okay. His wealth is a thousand. I think we could bump that wealth tax up to three percent. Okay. Wealth over 100, taxed amount. Did it adjust? It did. Okay. Hopefully that'll help. Because otherwise we are going to be uh, very poor. Very fast. Like, we've gone a while without uh, really any meaningful income. We are going to have a lot of problems if we don't scale this up faster. Holy smokes, Bucky. Oh, actually, Bucky. Settings, store settings, stick, but not slate. I paused for new resources, but it seems to just be doing it anyway. Awkward. Uh, let's see. Resources holding. What can I take out of here? We'll just take the mud. Does this thing have a limited amount of resources? It does. It just holds 40 different types of resources, which uh, is a lot. Okay. Build. Production. Weaving mill. Finally. And the other one is I'm going to need a bed somewhere. Because otherwise I'm going to die. Oh, but we need cloth. So actually, this is very much exactly what we need. And yeah, I think I've got a stupid amount of planks. At least for a while, so we should focus really hard on uh, sticks. We might even want to get a second uh, lumber mill at some point. Eh, no, I think I'll just alternate them freely. It'd be kind of nice if you could give it orders like, maintain a quota of like, ten. Ten of each. And then if you're done with that, go do other things entirely. 
Okay, let's take a look at our statistics for wealth. Oh, oh, it's prosperity for the settlement. I'm not leveling up. It's a prosperity value. That explains a lot. Oh, let's grab these two. Yeah, it's not level at all. It's prosperity. It's probably how much wealth is contained within my hamlet. Okay, so new blueprints. We have code stone. We already had that. Pop limit went up. Base ability level for new migrants and policy capacity. Ah, all right, cool. And that was actually kind of a big boost, question mark. Internal conflict. Did I do anything? Flex tax? Oh, what? Oh. Dear leader, I found a pile of woods in the forest, but I saw... I saw eyes. Uh, flashing in the bushes. I had no chance but to... choice but to run away. I don't know what that was, but it terrified me so much and I cannot sleep at, uh, at all because of the nightmares. Be relieved if you built some military facilities and trained guards. Uh, sure. Yeah, I mean, it's about time we actually built some military stuff. Okay, so I think at this point, uh, now that we've hit that threshold, uh, let's see, training camp. Yeah, we'll just start working on that. We'll also want the door, I think, so we don't have to worry about things in the undergrowth getting at me. And we'll probably want to expand laterally. I think what I need is I'm going to need a bed so I can rest, maybe some better equipment. And then, most of all, just uh, uh, a bed, some more equipment, and most of all, uh, maybe a couple more guards so we can tackle that grave up above. Because I'd like to get rid of that first and foremost. Uh, oh, so it's just grass that grows. Eh, that makes sense. And then, at some point, we might also want to look into our food situation. It's currently going up, which means I don't need to worry about it too bad. But eventually, I'm going to have to care. Uh, let's see, so who's got the best? Uh, yes, yet a sign. Well, we've got Colin the Pessimist. Well, Colin, you are now our weaver. So that turns grass into fabric, which we need. We could also make rope, but we'll leave that for later. I don't know if we even need it. Probably for elevators. But yeah, so there's there's so much I, I need to do and want to do in this game. Uh, but we're just going to need... Uh, we're just going to have to really work for it. Research a ton of things. Actually get a researcher. Uh, rock block. Wood block. Actually, yeah, let's start working on that. Because we might want to look into alternate paving means so my characters go faster. But I think the ladders are still definitively probably the big limitation. Anyway, I think this game is kind of neat. It's got a lot... To love uh, very much it's oxygen not included but with less meter management and a little bit more town builder and then also you get to play which for me massive the more civilization town builder games that i can play where i'm i am actively the player character the better i will have so much more fun with games like that uh, and i will probably play more of this sooner than later i might actually start streaming it when it makes sense to do so uh but who knows, my schedule's a nightmare and I've got like a gazillion other games to cover in the meantime. So, I guess, with all that said, if you like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new games every single day, then hit subscribe because i got tons to check out and show off. But with that, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.